Hi, so my name is India Staten, and today I'll be talking about how the American healthcare system is broken. Before we go to the next slide, raise your hand. Before, raise your hand if you're on your parents' health insurance. Raise your hand if you're on your own health insurance. Okay, who has access to health insurance? Health insurance is given to the employee in America. And why was it designed this way? Well, during World War II, health insurance was used as a tactic to attract people to work for companies because the 1942 Stabilization Act limited employers' freedoms on raising wages. So health insurance was used, used as an incentive. And private insurance during that time period was way too expensive for most families to afford. Limits on coverage. Even with health insurance, that does not mean everything will be covered through them. Some insurance companies don't cover life-saving medications, tests, or even procedures. And according to the American Medical Association, 78% of physicians reported that a lot of patients tend to abandon their course of treatment due to not having access to what they need. And 92% reported that they were denied, that denial has caught to delays in their treatment plans. For instance, me, speaking personally, I have bad vision. So LASIK eye surgery is not covered underneath my insurance. But I'll have to pay for contacts or glasses for the rest of my life if I want to see. Okay, next slide, please. Okay. The cost of medication in America. So, one vial of insulin for type 1 diabetes in America ranges from $14 to $300, while in other countries, Italy, $0, Australia, $6, India, $22, but another vial of insulin in Portugal, $0, $69 in Chile, and $435 in the U.S. So, you see the price increase in our healthcare system. Um, this is the cost of having a child in America. <laughs> so, normal delivery is $10,000 in America. $14,000 if you have a C-section. And you don't know if you're going to have a C-section. So, but in other Switzerland, Australia, the Netherlands, Spain, Argentina, you see the price differences and how the space is. Okay, next please. Okay, despite the cost of our health insurance, we still have the worst outcomes. So, in the U.S., we have the highest chronic disease burden and obesity rate. Pretty sure most of y'all knew we had the highest obesity rate. Um, compared to our peer nations, the U.S. has the highest number of hospitalizations for preventable diseases and avoidable deaths. Um, our life expectancy is the lowest, and also we have the most expensive technologies such as MRIs, CAT scans, stuff like that. Like they, oh, well, that's my next slide, please. We overemphasize procedures and drugs in the United States. Um, from a Harvard study, they say a cortisone injection for tendonitis in the ankle is typically covered by health insurance, but a shoe insert that might work the <laughs> complete same will not be covered. So you're gonna spend more out of pocket. There is no easy solution. Even Americans that are insured tend to typically spend more out of pocket than people in other countries that aren't insured. And these are my sources. So, 